Hi guys, today I'll be explaining in this video about strategy in Game of War Fire Ages. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Number 1. What to build? Well, it depends on how you play. Either you play more defense, either you play more offense. If you play more defense, the best buildings to build are hospitals to heal wounded troops, villas to increase defense boost, and an embassy to have reinforcements when needed. If we check out my city, I have 13 hospitals that can hospitalize 6.43 million troops. I also have a villa that can produce hourly 41.3 million silver and that gives me 6625% in troop defense boost. And I've also got an embassy that can keep 421,960 troops. Now, let's talk about offense. If you play more offense, the best buildings to build are barracks to train more troops and faster, farms, lodging camps, mines, and quarry to have resources for more troops. If we check out my city, I have a barrack level 95 that can produce 1.69 million troops in 860 days. And these are the following hourly productions. Number 2. Hero. There is a golden rule in Game of War, it's never lose your hero. Now you may be asking yourselves, how do I protect my hero? Well, these are the following options. If you are a massive player that has the best attack and the best defense, well, most probably your hero is safe. But if you're a small player, these are your options. So the first strategy is to teleport at the edge of the kingdom and to set a fake rally on the other side of the kingdom. The second strategy is to simply buy a shield. You can buy a 30 day peace shield but in my opinion it is definitely overpriced a 3 day peace shield, a 24 hour peace shield or an 8 hour peace shield. It really depends on how long you're hopping off. And the first strategy is to find the campsite and hide your hero in that area. Number 3. Troops. Right now, the best troops to use are T7 troops. Why, you may be asking? Take a look at this example. So what I did was I sent a 350,000 march of T7 strategic range, which was about 10% of the army size of my opponent, who had 3.57 million T2s. I also tried, again, the same thing, but instead I sent a full march. I was surprised that I lost 20k troops, but still, I killed all 3.57 million T2 troops. And there you have it, that's the end of the video. If you came this far, then write in the comments GW and I'll make sure to leave a heart for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.